Hi, I'm going to look at how to add pictures and videos in KidBlog. You see here I've got in my KidBlog dashboard, I've got a post that I just set up. Okay, and so let's add a picture from Flickr, a picture from my desktop, and a video from YouTube. So I put my cursor where I want the picture to be. I'm going to add one from uh, Flickr first. So I'm going to go over to Flickr, and I want to search for uh, pictures for rainy season in Japan. So I'll use the word you to get pictures probably more related to Japan, being the Japanese word for rainy season. All right, this is what I get. But I want to make sure that I have pictures that are uh, Creative Commons license so that I can use them without having to worry about breaking somebody's copyright. So if I go to Advanced Search and click on Creative Commons, it will filter uh, the results so that it's only showing Creative Commons license content. That means that probably I can use the photo as long as I credit the camera person. Let's see, I like this picture. Yeah, that's a nice one. Lots of umbrellas. Okay, so I can go to Actions, View All Sizes, and I'm going to choose a medium size because it's lo faster loading. I need the URL. So to get the URL from a picture on Flickr, right click, command click perhaps in Mac, and copy image URL. Go back to my post. And I'm going to go up here to image. So I want to upload or insert an image. And I have an option of uploading it from my computer or from a URL or from my media library. So I can use my URL. And I could put a caption, but since I want to have a link back to the image, I'm going to leave the caption blank right now and I want to put it in the center of my post. Okay. So there's my image. Now, if I want to add uh, I need to add the credit for the photographer and the link because I want them to be able to see it online. And you don't have to do that, but I always think that it's kind of nice. Okay, so there's the limit, link to the image. So just copy. And the photographer is K-I-M-U-B-E-R-T. So I go back to my post and credit the photographer. And I can put down that on Flickr. But Again, it's not necessary. And then I can uh, add a link so that if anybody clicks on it, then they will go over to Flickr and see the image. All right, I can center that. Next, I want to add a picture of hydrangeas from my desktop. So again, I go back to image. And now I want to do from my computer. So select files. And in Dropbox, down toward the bottom, there we go. I want to use this one. Yeah. So it's uploading from my desktop. Okay. And again, I don't want a caption, so I won't add anything here. I want it in the center. Insert. Very straightforward. And there's the image. Okay. So the last thing I want to do is add a video. And so I went over to YouTube and I found a video that shows a train going through a lot of hydrangeas in Hakone in Japan. So all I need to do is get the link for Kid Blog. Copy the link. Go back over to Kid Blog. And then click on Insert Video, paste the link. And I can title the video if I want, but again, I'm not going to put a title on right now. And click Insert in the post. Okay, so you see that there's a link. Oh, it gave the title anyway. So we'll change the title to Hydrangea train. Okay. Um, the video is there on its own. Um, in KidBlog, once I publish it, the link will turn into an embedded video. So let's save the draft. Okay. 
then everything's there. Okay, let's publish. You can see that turned into all embedded videos. There's the image, second image, and there's our video. So everything worked out just fine. And that is how you add images from Flickr, from your desktop, and from YouTube in KidLog. I hope it helps.